guys, welcome back. So I've got another top five video for y'all today. Today is going to be my top five favorite larger eyeshadow palettes. This was kind of like hard to like draw a line between these because I'm also gonna do smaller eyeshadow palettes. So I tried to just basically pick palettes that have more shadows in them. Like not necessarily like, most of these are larger, like actually larger palettes, but they also have more eyeshadows in them. And then I'll have another one for smaller eyeshadow palettes. Anyway, that's a tangent. We're gonna talk about my top five favorite large eyeshadow palettes today, so let's get into it. I know this isn't a super large eyeshadow palette, but it does have quite a few eyeshadows in it. That's why I put it like in this group. So this is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 palette. And this is kind of like relatively new to like my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I've really fallen in love with this palette because the quality of this is just amazing. It's all matte. It's very warm toned, so you have to like matte eyeshadows and you have to like warm toned eyeshadows to enjoy this palette. But I think it's like right at $10, so super affordable. But these just blend like a dream. They're amazing. Like the first time I used it, I was instantly just like blown away by it. And the more that I've used it, the more I've fallen in love with it. They blend like a dream. They work really well together. Um, they wear super well throughout the day. The quality is just incredible for the price. So this, I think you could put this in Sephora or Ulta and slap a different name on it and put a higher price point on it and it would sell because it has such great quality to it. So if you have not checked out, checked out this palette, if you like mattes and if you like warm toned eyeshadows, definitely do because it's awesome. On the opposite end of the tone spectrum is my favorite cool tone palette. This is the Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette. Love the packaging on it, it's so pretty. It is like, you know, like a cardboardy sort of a feeling, so it doesn't like feel like the nicest, highest quality packaging, but it looks really pretty and it keeps the price point low, so I don't mind that. But it's just pretty to look at, so I love the look of the packaging. But this is just a beautiful, cool tone palette. If you love grays, taupes, purpley colors, just anything in the cool tone family, I think you'll really like this palette. I do wish there was maybe like one other mid-tone matte shadow because it has one here, but then you get into kind of like the deeper shades that are matte. So it, I wish it had a little bit more matte in here, but that's really the only thing I would change about it because the quality is awesome. These are really, really great. They are um, pretty soft. So is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte. So they do give a little bit of like fallout but really not that bad and they blend really nicely. They're easy to work with, they wear well. So just really nice quality and a great price point. Next is my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. So many of y'all recommended this palette to me before I finally ended up getting it and you were so right. This is such a beautiful palette, love it so much. First off, the packaging is really pretty. It's, it is like a cardboardy sort of a packaging so it doesn't feel super heavy but it looks really pretty. But this is, just beautiful. If you love really bright, like metallic lids, I think you will really like this palette and really just BH Cosmetics baked shadows in general because they're so metallic if they're applied foiled. They're just intense and beautiful and just, I mean, so pretty and bright. I just love them. So this one is like the very colorful bright one they also they have lots of bake shadows from their line so definitely check out bh cosmetics if you want to look for some bake shadows definitely look there but then this one this is not technically in my top five this is like an honorable mention but i have to mention it too because i love this one too and the more that i use it the more that i'm falling in love with it the galaxy chic is still my favorite of the two but this one is still really good this is the supernova the BH Cosmetics Supernova palette. So this one has more kind of like jewel tones in it, but it's still really intense and metallic and just, I mean, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Highly, highly recommend the BH Cosmetics Bake Shadows. They're awesome. I really love all of them that I've gotten from them, but these two are my favorites, but in my top five, Galaxy Chic. Then my good old Urban Decay Naked palette, the original OG. I just love this palette because first off, I think a lot of the reason I love it so much is just nostalgia because this was like one of the very first high-end makeup products that I purchased. And it was kind of like when I first 
really got into watching YouTube. So it has like a lot of really good memories for me, but I also love the quality of it. Like it's just a beautiful palette and every time I wear it, I'm like, I love this palette, I need to wear it more. It's got really beautiful blending shades. I really, really like Sidecar, which I feel like this is one that probably a lot of people would hate because it's pretty chunky and it does have some like micro shimmer in it, but it's just, really pretty. And again, if you apply it foiled, it's like oh, super intense and gorgeous. It's just such a beautiful neutral palette. It's great for travel. A lot of times I travel with it because you can really get great daytime looks, really pretty date night looks, smoky eyes, a bunch of different things you can do with it. So it's just, it's a great neutral palette, but mainly I think it made it into my top five and will continue to be one of my favorite palettes ever. It's just mainly like nostalgia. It has such great memories with it. And then lastly, my overall favorite large eyeshadow palette, at least as of right now, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I know a lot of people talk about this palette and a lot of people love this palette. And it's for good reason because this is such incredible quality. Every time I use this palette, I'm just like, I can't believe it. It's like I'm amazed all over again. Remember the first time that I ever used it, I was just blown away by the quality because these are super pigmented. That is something to note about them. So if you're used to using shadows that aren't very pigmented, you may go to like dig your brush in here and you're gonna have way too much product. It's gonna kick up way too much product in the pan. You're gonna get fallout on your face. You're just gonna have too much eyeshadow. So use it sparingly because you don't need a lot of product with these shadows. But while they're super pigmented, they blend really well. That's what I hate is when you get an eyeshadow that's pigmented, but then it just sticks on your eyelid. Like it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't blend well. These don't do that. They blend really, really well. Um, they wear really well throughout the day too. Like they don't start to fade. This is the palette that if I know I want it to last throughout the entire day, I'm gonna grab for this because these just stick around, keep their vibrancy. The look looks amazing by the end of the day too. It's just awesome. Now you probably would look at this palette and go, what am I gonna do with that pink? Like, what? What am I gonna do with that orange? That's not practical. But honestly, if you use them sparingly, just like right in your crease, it just adds something special to your eye look. So it doesn't make it look like crazy colorful or anything. It just adds this like warmth to your eye look. So if you love like sunset eye looks, like, you know, golds, orangey shades, rust sort of colors, burgundies. You will love this palette. I do wish it had a couple more um, shimmery shades like or metallic-y shades because those are really pretty. There's only two in there. So I would have loved maybe one or two more of those, but it's just because I love these so much. So, and I still love all the others. So maybe just tack on, maybe just add on two more shadows and give me more of those. But it's just awesome quality. They blend like a dream. They look amazing all together and they wear incredibly well throughout the day. It's an awesome palette. All right guys, so that wraps up my top five favorite large eyeshadow palettes. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what your top five would be. I would love to know that. You guys know I love eyeshadow. So I would love to know your top five. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.